Hi, my name is Patrick Cleary and this is Deliverable 7, the final project report for my RFID controlled bike lock. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of my project, show you the wiring and the code behind it, and finally end with showing my working prototype in action. Thanks for watching. I chose to make an RFID controlled bike lock. Here's a block diagram of the overview of the process. The RFID card is scanned by the reader, which is attached to the UNO. If the correct card is scanned, it will drive the servo to turn the key holder. Here's an image of the insides. We have our key holder, the key, the RFID reader chip, and the servo. At the code uh, up here at the top, we have where all of our pins will go, including our power pins, different libraries included, and some definitions of the pins I'll be using. Uh, my instances and this variable here is going to be controlling um, whatever code is uh, associated with your chip so you'll use the dump info sketch to find that and then insert it here uh, so the two methods that I have are default lock which will write the servo to zero in the lock state uh, and then detach itself so that it doesn't burn out so having trouble with that um, it's explained here in the comments so in the unlock method it will uh, reintroduce that pin that it's attached to and attach itself and then write to 90 degrees. Um, down here in the setup I have default lock to always run in case you ever lose power it'll always be in the lock state when you turn it back on. And then the loop itself we have a nested if statement which will be checking for a new card reading the serial running it against that code we set earlier and then if all those are correct to run the unlocked method. Uh, otherwise, just declare them false and proceed to this, which is our 10 second automatic lock timer, which will check is the correct card false, has it been over 10 seconds, and is the lock state currently in the unlocked position. Inside, we have our RFID chip down there, our key holder, our key, and our servo. You can see it in action. 90 degree turn to give us an unlock and now without using the RFID reader it locks itself 